Hi, I'm here to give you some context about my film, just so you kind of understand everything, things are cleared up and uh, no one's like confused. So basically, our story follows two transgender teenagers, one called Max, one called Hannah. Max is kind of further down the line, he knows who he is, he's been out for a long time, and he's trying to look for medical care and help. But as he's looking for it, he's realizing there is like nothing there. Uh, the Tavistock Center closed, there's nowhere to go. And um, obviously GPs and, and general doctors are not um, qualified in this area. And that's kind of his issue, is he can't get the care he needs. And then we've got Hannah, who's at the complete opposite end, who's kind of just figuring herself out. She's kind of just like, d like decided that like she needs to tell someone that she, um, is trans and and she needs to tell her family um, that she's got to come out and 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 she can't keep living kind of uh, it under a mask. So this is their story and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hey, yeah, I don't know, like, I feel really disappointed now, and I just don't even know what to do myself. Like, that was the last doctor, and, like, I've been to every single GP center in this whole area at this point. So, I don't know what to do. And I've already got the stuff, so it just makes it ten times worse, because I've started, and they're, like, not willing to just work with me, because I don't have the formal diagnosis yet. Now I know. It's ridiculous. And, and how am I supposed to get a formal diagnosis when they've closed the center? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Oh? I mean, yeah, that'd be nice. Are you sure? I mean, if you've got nothing to do today, then yeah, that'd, uh, that'd be really nice. We could go for a drive. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm like, I mean, I'm like five minutes from the bus stop, so I can just get the bus and then hop on the train. All right. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll see you in like just under an hour. Okay, bye.
and I keep going to my like doctors and I'm like look I'm starting this thing I've told you I'm gonna start it like you need to help me now because otherwise this could be dangerous and, and it's just so hard to find someone yeah no I just I mean I've been meaning to come out I've been meaning to tell my parents and say because I feel like that would be a massive thing off my chest oh yeah and that's one hurdle I need to get over, but then there's that hurdle as well. Of, of course, kind of it feels like it's going to go on forever. But I swear to God, once you've come out, like, and you've ripped the band-aid off, it's just so much better. And like, my like experience with coming out was like, the first week or so was super rough, but then like afterwards everything went back to normal. And my parents are like super supportive, like now. I know it's like a few years later, but from even from like the start, like. I mean, like, you're their kids, so, you know, like, they're gonna love you regardless, right? Yeah, I mean, I've been thinking about it, and they do scare me a bit at times, but I've been testing the waters, I've been thinking about it, and honestly, I feel like I, I, I've got a fair shot at okay. telling them, and it going okay. So That's great, I'm glad to hear that. I feel awesome. like it could go well. Yeah, alright, you should totally do that, like, I mean, I am here for you if you need any help, and oh my god, this guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't get around this guy, so this is like very annoying. There we okay. go. Okay, yeah. So, like, if you need any support or anything, like, I'm here, and of course, like, is she like, I don't know, if you need a place to stay or whatever, like, just give me a ring, and it's completely fine. Like, it's totally fine. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. It's okay. Anyway, right. What do you want to eat? Because I just realized I am like starving, so can we get some food? Taco Bell sound good? Yeah, it does. Uh, we'll see. Sorry to be bringing you. I, I, I came out to my mum. I told her. She doesn't want me around anymore. She told me to get out. She, she doesn't want me. I'm sat in my car. I just, I just don't feel up for driving right now. stay in my car for now and if need be I'll I'll, I'll stay here for the night and I'll go from there
Dash, you okay then? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I saw you dash in here and how are you okay? Uh, I'm, I'm fine, I just, uh, I got some weird messages. Oh, like what, can I see? Uh, yeah, okay. Hi, yeah, um, I, I just got, I just received an, an, an email from, uh, I think it's Dr. Uh, Lucy, yeah, um, she, she, she said that she would be willing to uh, monitor my bloods for me, is that correct? Are you serious? Okay, yeah, yeah, can I uh, book the appointment for that, please?